Hey family, you're watching Discovering Happiness with your host Manny V, where we bring reality to life, where we dissect it, analyze it, and try to find happiness within. So, with no further ado, let's get started. Today's topic is quite interesting. I definitely want you to hold on to your chairs and brace yourself. It's about India's denial of mental health. I'm sure each one of us had to face depression, some sort of panic attack or thoughts of suicide during our life. Well, we're gonna dive deep, talk about the root analyst, what causes depression, how to overcome it, and what's the hype in India of not expressing your mental health, whether it's taboo, shame, or just not showing any vulnerability. We're also gonna talk about a Bollywood star named Deepika Padukone, how she actually faced depression, challenged it, and made a foundation out of it. So with no further ado, let's get started. Mental health. It affects each one of us, whether you're a teenager, adult, celebrity, or elderly. There is no barriers behind it. Fame, fortune, community, environment. It triggers all. And it can take a toll on each one of us differently and uniquely. It ranges from depression, anxiety, panic attacks, to suicide. Some of the root causes of mental health could be not being valued, neglected, which can definitely take a toll on one's mind. Disappointments, family betrayal can really hurt us through a long life. Also traumas and tribulations with just building up that anxiety to burst out. And also unresolved stigma, which can haunt us for the long run, which can also take a toll on us and cause a lot of mental stress. India's growing mental health rate. According to India Council of Medical Records, one in seven people suffer from mental disorders. Such disorders can range from depression, anxiety to thoughts of suicide, affecting 45 million Indians. During the lockdown of COVID, there was an increase of depression and anxiety rates among the youth. And I could just imagine being the factor in India where it's actually a close-knit type environment where you're very really close with your family, relatives, and coworkers. And all the lockdown can definitely cause an anxiety and a toll on one's mind. Well, according to India, ancient India, mental illness is actually more of being possessed by evil spirits, where certain rituals and remedies are done during those times. Well, I'm not gonna really dive in and talk about my two cents of it. I'm sure you have heard. So I'll just let you digest it and share your opinions behind those stories. I want to give you some examples of how people in India take their own lives when it comes to depression or anxiety or stress. Believe it or not, there was actually a 50 year old man who actually jumped into a well fearing he had contracted COVID. Yikes. Also, another example was there was two young brothers in their 40s living in Delhi where they were found hung in their jewelry shop, leaving a suicide note due to financial crisis. Most of these deaths are caused by shame or guilt and not being able to face reality, whether it's their financial burden or health risks to themselves or their own family. Having a big ego and not willing to show any signs of vulnerabilities I would say are some root causes for such unnecessary deaths. Some of the Bollywood stars that face depression, I would say Deepika Padukone. She actually previously suffered from depression. One day during a shoot, she woke up and just didn't have the right strive, drive, or sense of joy. 
it was just filled with mental suffering. After taking medication, she actually accepted her condition and had the courage to talk about it with the media. One of her interviews, she said that we talk about so much subjects in this world, physical fitness, fame, fortune, but never talk about mental health as such subjects are taboo or shame in our Indian community to bring up to. Some of the nonprofit bringing awareness to mental health in India, Lean Away is a nonprofit group called Live, Love, Laugh Foundation, which is making a big stand in India, fighting mental health. The founder of this is a Bollywood actress, Deepika Padukone, in 2015, who was a great advocate of mental health and also experienced her version of depression. The foundation gives hope to people experiencing stress, anxiety, and depression by providing awareness and guidance. I want to deep dive and talk about anxiety pill and painkillers. How we indulge in such pills to treat a certain illness and the side effects behind it. Such examples as Xanax meds that actually treats anxiety but also may lead to uh, depression symptoms. Also such examples are painkillers such as opioid found that 10% out of 100,000 patients develop some sort of depression after taking it for 30 days. Wow. Acne drugs such as Redicane can lead to suicide risk for teens. So just be very careful when indulging in such pills. You might be doing more harm than good to one's um, mind or body. Also I want to talk about the comparison of or the confusion between depression and sadness and how do you differ from one or the other. And one thing is that some of these symptoms can range from a span of two weeks whether well, it's loss of interest, loss of pleasure, the feeling of worthiness, hopefulness, and just the thoughts of ending it all. Those are some of the symptoms of being depressed in our society. Fighting depression naturally. I want to give you about four remedies that might help you fight depression as each remedy might work differently for you. And if you do have any other remedies that you want to share, definitely feel free to write it below in the comments. As we know, knowledge is power. So with the first remedy, I would say is listening to motivational tapes. When you listen to motivational tapes, you will actually define who you are. You will actually learn from people that went to the struggles, depression, traumas as you are. You can relate and actually redefine you in a better format. Other remedy would be being in tune with nature, whether it's Walking barefoot in the grass and just hearing nature speak can actually redefine who you are individually. Another remedy would be uh, listening to meditation music such as a 528 hertz. Such frequency can change your vibe and bring you that positivity that you need on a day-to-day -day basis. Other remedy possibly might work for you is group therapy. When you listen in with other people, what they have to say, how they dealt with their struggles, depression, you can actually relate and fine tune and give you that therapy or therapeutical skills that you're looking for to reinvent yourself. So those are some of the remedies I recommend. Obviously there's um, so many in this world that can help you and reshape you. But just as conclusion, I would say that, you know, it's nothing wrong if you are facing depression, anxiety, panic attack. It's just natural and the more you address it and let it out is the more you can redefine yourself and move on with life and just um, make it positive bring happiness within and let the world know who you are thanks for watching please subscribe share and like if you'd like to learn more about us we're on the web at inspireyourmind.org also follow us on facebook group at discovering happiness podcast series with Manny B. And if you'd like us to talk about a topic that's affecting your community, definitely feel free to write your comments below. Till then, have a beautiful day. Om Shanti.